Hello, today I'm going to talk about the top quant finance uh, master's program uh, and I'm going to use the a very reliable source. There are many ranking actually. Uh, you have got university ranking furnished by yeah, many you know good uh, reputed uh, you know uh, publications. Uh, Times for example does that and, and many other uh, media firms do that. But quant finance is a very uh, niche area, right? So you cannot simply go by the the you know the the general uh, university ranking from times or other groups so uh, you need to you know you need to refer to you know the the ranking uh, done by reputed finance journal or publications one such is risk.net you probably haven't heard about it uh, but most risk or quant professionals uh, actually must have heard about uh, risk.net is very uh, reputed uh, risk journal and uh, they do ranking every year so I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about the ranking they have done for 2023 they do that every year in fact they also reward the quant of the year every year um, you know they, they, they you know provide uh, it is more like the Nobel Prize but they do also provide uh, such a prize to you know the the most uh, Im uh, important or rather the most famous quant of the given year right uh, either to academicians or to practitioners right you can check them out uh, risk.net right so they have this uh, ranking and the good thing about this ranking is that they have given 50% uh, weightage to employment uh, in many other rankings uh, if you see times ranking you know they don't give that much of uh, importance or weightage to uh, you know the employment employment aspect <coughs> But for students like you, right, what matters is uh, how much money you make after after you graduate, right, and whether uh, you have a good probability of getting a opportunity, getting a job after doing uh, your master. You don't really care much about, you know, how many international students are there, the research output from the university. Well, in some areas, these things do matter, but uh, not so much in, in quant finance for sure. So uh, it, it's a good thing that they have given more than 50% of the weightage to uh, to the probability of getting a good job after doing the master's program and uh, how much money you make like average salary of the you know students who graduate from these places okay so I will uh, go through uh, this list and I'll tell, tell you about some of the very peculiar things about the list the thing is that most of the universities are either from US or Europe I mean it goes without saying that some of the best universities are in this part of the world but the ranking is, is, is too biased when it comes to quant finance, right? In other ranking, more normal ranking, right? In times ranking, you can find even some universities from, you know, Japan or Korea, even China, Singapore, Australia, they're in the, in the, in the, in the top 100, uh, in the you know, list of uh, top 100 universities, even I think one or two from India. But you won't find probably any in the top 20 to 30 uh, in, 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 in their ranking which is outside of Europe and uh, US um, so it only shows that uh, you know the good finance quant finance programs are either in US or in some countries in Europe even within Europe most of these programs are either in in Paris Amsterdam or in London or Zurich these four cities You'll be surprised to know that um, okay so let me start with uh, you know the first uh, ranking is so the first rank is uh, for Baruch College in University of New York right it's not a very famous university when it comes to uh, university ranking the normal university ranking but in quant finance it consistently ranks uh, the highest Right, the Baruch College University of City University of New York. I don't think it's even Ivy League University, right? It, I think the New York University is an Ivy League, but not the City University of New York. I think it, it's probably a different university and it has a, a college called Baruch College and that's quite, quite, quite popular. I've heard about it uh, for a long time and uh, it consistently ranks uh, number one in quant finance program. Second in Princeton University, great university. Um, you know for everything whether it's science or engineering or you know social science 
it ranks the second university of california third uh, north carolina state university new york uh, university columbia university most i think top six are u.s university then eth zurich first european university to uh, you know the, the highest rank in your european university and overall it ranks seven and then you have university ecole polytechnic in paris that was ranks eight and then you have imperial college of london in london if you're uh, willing to go to an uh, english speaking country and you want to be in europe i think imperial college of london is very good um, columbia university then carnegie Mellon university uh, georgia tech university of toronto cornell university technical university of munich so german university rank 15th university of chicago paris university university of california 18th rank then university of washington university of waterloo university college of london uh, rutgers university uh, vienna university university of oxford and university college of london surprisingly university of, of oxford ranks below the top 25 universities um, i think oxford is perhaps the you know top five university uh, in, in 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 university ranking right in times university ranking is always within top five but uh, for quant finance program it's not even top 25 uh, right and it's not a paid uh, sort of a ranking right uh, risk.net is very very unbiased because it's very reputed uh, publications uh, so I, I doubt it is uh, paid you know I don't think so uh, you, you never know but um, yeah given the reputation of risk.net i don't think they have done a paid uh, paid ranking or something like that um yeah some then there are quite a number of university from europe uh ku leuven in in belgium um university of york city university of london university of warwick university of florence uh, manchester university university of amsterdam so there is uh, yeah, quite a quite a number of universities from us but in the top 50 i think there's just one or two asian university i think one from singapore and one from australia monas university of monas other than that no other university from india or china or hong kong or, <clears throat> or korea even features there in fact many universities don't even offer quant finance or financial engineering mathematical finance programs so yeah indeed uh, there are no not many um, schools uh, from these countries in the top 20 uh, top 50 uh, rankings um a few things to note that um university ranking doesn't play a huge role actually in uh, in your employability and future employability right you cannot just you know go to a company you'll say oh, no, i have done from top 10 universities and give me a job that's not how it goes especially for technical jobs in in job in areas like management for example if you want to do mba finance mba marketing hr matters a lot uh, ranking matters a lot if you do it from london business school or harvard business school it matters a lot uh, compared to if you, you had to do it from a lower ranking university but in a technical subject like one finance ranking does play some role right uh, in terms of getting employability and average salary but on a longer horizon if you think about long-term career aspect it doesn't matter much actually right in fact many people don't even have a quant finance master's degree and yet they work in in quant finance in fact uh, I myself don't have a financial engineering sort of a, a degree. I do have some economic finance uh, sort of uh, education also in physics, but uh, not in financial engineering as such. Okay. Uh, in fact, my wife has a, a financial engineering uh, quant finance master degree, and I don't think it sees better than me in this area though. Uh, she might uh, disagree with me uh, she might even want to um, yeah argue with me on this but uh, okay uh, that's a different thing um, the point here i'm making is that it you need not have uh, actually a quant finance uh, master or phd in order to work in quant finance actually but most people who work in quant finance do not have quant finance master degree uh, but nothing wrong and if you have money and time you should go for it if you're considering going for a higher study 
uh, in an area that uh, where you can find good jobs, high paying jobs in you know good countries, developed countries. Quant finance is perhaps one of the most lucrative uh, option. Right. Even after doing quant finance, if you don't like it and you feel like doing something else, you can work as a data scientist, you can work as a developer, software engineer, uh, product manager, um, you can work in various other fields also. So, you know, the, the knowledge of finance, the knowledge of modeling, uh, mathematical modeling and knowledge of uh, programming are useful in many areas of uh, uh, business right uh, you could work in other areas even if you don't like it you don't want to do a core quant work you know a lot of the skills uh, can be transferred to other uh, other areas so that's one good thing uh, and not just right after graduation but uh, you could also do that after working in quant finance for a few years many people have done that by the way some of my ex colleagues who used to work with me uh, six seven years back they are no longer in quant area they have moved to other areas some people have become traders some people have gone to consulting some people have you know uh, uh, moved to you know uh, fintechs um, yeah it's a lot of lot of, even some have moved to investment banking one or two so um, yeah it's uh, not a bad idea if you have money and time and if you are still young fresh out of university and you want to do a full-time career full-time uh, course full-time master program why not do it um, I am going to uh, share a link below in case you want to do masters in uh, in data science or quant finance or any finance uh, financial economics or you know just master in finance in in any of the European university the ones I mentioned but also in case uh, you are uh, interested in Europe uh, I can help you with that. I I know a few people, uh, a few um, people who are actually you know doing these things. Uh, I know them for a couple of uh, years already. Simply because uh, some of my friends actually have taken their help in order to get admission uh, through them in the European University. Uh, in case you are interested, let me know. You give your uh, email ID and 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 phone number, contact details basically um right but i i don't know much about us market to be honest uh, some of my friends have gone there and they've done very well uh, us you know is the land of opportunities um but also land of volatility right uh you, you will go through a roller coaster right with respect to visas with respect to you know finding sponsorship and so on and so forth which is much less a concern in europe also, life is better in Europe overall. Like long term, it's a bit better. That's my opinion. But uh, yeah. But if you're too ambitious, you're after money. You want to make a lot of money and, and all that. US is uh, is an amazing place, right? You should also consider US, not just Europe, <clears throat> right? But I don't know much about US market, so I can't speak like how I can help you with admission. But certainly, I can help you in case you're interested in Europe. Okay. Thanks. And if you have any questions, as always, do not. Uh, hesitate to ask me in the comment section or you can always reach out to me some people are doing that I see emails coming uh, sometimes I may not respond on time I don't have time a lot of time um, I'm in my mid 30 right um, a lot of you actually are still young probably don't understand actually what it feels like when you're in mid 30 you have other things a lot of other things to do Right. Um, so it be difficult sometimes, uh, but I try my best to respond to your questions. Um, yeah, happy New Year in in advance. And if you're in Australia and some of the places, happy New Year already. I think it's already uh, happy New Year by the time the video goes live. See you in another video, guys. Thanks as always. Uh, thank you.